maybe one week old almost, or just about, you see teeny tiny tadpoles in a container full of water. I added a little bit of baking soda to change the pH. They have a warming plate underneath them. I just put some fish flake food in there and I'm hoping they'll eat some of that. And they're a little more active today than they were yesterday. You can see that one going pretty pretty good pace there. Probably smelling the food then. The head's gotten a little bigger today. It's moving good. There's some activity and life in there. I know this is a small container that it's in right now, but I'm just in the process of doing the best I can until I get a bigger container get more information on how to take care of these so they survive. I'm hoping they survive all the, all the way because I changed the water. I may have lost a few of them with the water change, but it's important that they have clean water. So I'm learning. This is my first time in uh, dealing with the Raising of tadpoles, African dwarf frog tadpoles. And I just was lucky that it's a miracle. They're all miracles. Because their daddy left right after he mated. He jumped out of the tank. And then I got a, a cover for the last tank that I had lost a couple of them because I didn't have cover for them. I feel like the mad scientist in this and this group of people, little babies here, little baby African dwarf frog people. Yeah, they're alive, all right. Several of them survived. The mama didn't lay a whole lot of eggs, so this is good. At least some got fertilized before the male jumped ship. Daddy decided to go, just like all these other men that I've met that uh, want to take advantage of a woman, and if they don't get what they want, then they're gone. That's part of the single life here. Enjoy the day. I'm enjoying myself with this breeding hobby, and I'll keep you posted as they survive, and I hope they do. I'll pray for them. Bye-bye. Nicole Health Beauty and more.